Welcome back to Brew Review Winnipeg. Wasn't sure how to start off this video. I know we've been away for a while, but the bear has emerged from his hibernation yet again for another wonderful 2020. This is going to be a special episode because we're doing the half pints laser. What, wait, what's it say? Near catacorn? Near. near Meerkatic. Yeah, meerkatacorn. What's a meerkatacorn? Mercatacorn. Mermaid unicorn cat. Oh, I see it now. Okay, yeah, see, there okay, you go. Meerkatacorn. Well, wouldn't it be M E R E then? Or M E E R? I don't know. Oh, no, wait. Mermaid. No, I guess that makes sense. Whatever. It's a peach milkshake IPA from Half Pints Brewing Company. I know we don't do a lot of Half Pints because, well, Half Pints, as long as they've been around, there's so many new stuff popping up here in Winnipeg. So it just kind of gets put around to the back burner, but we love Half Pints. They give us some insider information. <laughs> they, well, they did that one time. And it wasn't even insider information. It's just telling us the dates of, of the Flatlanders. I don't know if you're gonna cut this or whatever. Anyways, we, we love Half Pints. They've treated us right, and so we're gonna give them a nice honest review here. I'm super excited to drink this bad boy because I love peaches and I love milkshakes and I love IPAs. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. Ah. Uh, 5.3% alcohol, 45 IBUs, EBUs. Eboos go into the EPAs. I don't know. Let's give it a pour. I don't know why you zoom in. You always just speed it up right away, anyways. There you go. Cheers. It's uh, what 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 did we just have? We just had the daylight savings change, the time change. Screw the time change. I'll drink to that. Well, if you like Coronas. I'll let you finish that one. That's different. That is a lot different than I was expecting. I, I, I guess you kind of get that fresh peach kind of stuff going on there. It's not overly sweet, so that's really good. It's like a, what do you even call it, tart? What would you call it? It's, it's like a fresh peach. Like a fresh, not quite super ripe peach. I think that's probably the effects of the hops. Oh. Before I should, I should preface this. If I sound stupid, like like not what I'm saying, just in general, my my tone of voice or how I pronounce things. I just went to the dentist, and my face is still like a quarter of the way frozen. Here, let me try and puff out my cheeks for you. It, it's just useless. So I try and drink this and I can't even feel the cup on my lips. It's like, who even is this? But that is a solid beer. It's got a good amount of flavor to it. It's, um, I wouldn't quite call it super creamy. Like, you know how a lot of milkshake IPAs are like uber smooth. I think they've done this a good service and kept it from being like way too smooth. Because I mean, if you eat a peach, it's all grain, like a fresh peach. You got a nice peach here. It's got a pit and everything. You're just like, oh, and you, you get all the little fibers stuck in your teeth. Like it's not all that smooth and creamy, but it, it gives it just a little bit more of a, a nice mouth feel to it. Oh yeah, I like that. Smooth and balanced yet still super flavorful and it's just got that nice little fresh peach feel to it. I'm gonna give this bad boy an eight and a half out of 10. I really like it. I don't know what else to say, but. All right, let's give it up for 2020. See you next time. Screw the time change. I'm still rolling. It's a freaking laser beam!